We encapsulate the language and energy of love. We understand that this is hard, but we still do it with love. It can break stereotypes. It's like music. It's a universal language. Mm -hmm. And we believe that love is a universal language as well. We do it with versatility and in compassion. Hi everybody, this is Abby Asistio and welcome to Season 3 of the Old Vocally Podcast where we get to know our favorite musicians, artists, and creatives. And today, we are with such a dynamic band, great music. I've been grooving to their songs with matching patiers pa dun sa ilang mga narinig ko <laughs> the past couple of days. We have Mijon on the show. Hi! Oh, hi everyone! And they just finished performing on the Advocally Light stage. How was the experience for you and the band? Oh, it, it, it was wonderful. Like It was such a good vibe, mm-hmm. uh, the whole process. And uh, we had lots of fun and we were smiling a lot. So mm-hmm. yeah, that, that was a pretty good sign. Yay. So, yeah. I'm glad you guys enjoyed. So your name is Mijon. Mm-hmm. So what's your name and your background? And your band name is also Mijon, but with a period naman, yes. with a dot. So yes. why did you use that as your band name too? To make the story short, it was my dad's username when he met my mom. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was Mijon144 because okay. his name was uh, Michael John. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. And my band chose the name Mijon Dot because that was my Facebook name. Mm-hmm. And they said, oh, why not we add the dot so that we could separate you from the collective or the band. Yeah. That's why we put the dot. And also the dot kind of uh, has this certain symbol of establishment or like mm, conviction. Like, so like Mijon Dot. It's like yeah. Mijon period. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And you seem to like be a tight-knit group. How did you all come together? Friends na ba kayo from dati pa? Well, uh, the drummer, si Job, he has been my friend ever since preschool. Okay. So like super bata pa kami, dami mm-hmm. namin pinagdaanan. We hiked mountains, we swimmed oceans together. Yeah. Literal, because we were in an <laughs> environmental school oh, called okay. Hedsen in Antipolo. And then yeah. the others naman were more of college friends. Mm-hmm. I've met most of them in an organization called UP Music Circle. Yeah. Uh, which is a songwriting and music organization. And we just clicked. And then we hang out almost every week. And it shows in your performances. Parang you're just really enjoying your time together with your group of friends. And I was wondering about the genre. Kasi mix siya ng iba't ibang klase. You mm-hmm. said you were part of a music group. Medyo theatrical ba? Musical pa yung vibe non because I would listen to your songs meron din pagka world meron funk tapos may pagka whimsical sometimes <laughs> was that a common like desire or theme for all of you guys in terms of what kind of music you're interested in well we all have really really different and diverse musical influences but I think it uh, the band is just an amalgamation of all the things that we like yeah. and all the things that we find beautiful. Mm-hmm. So, parang, let's say, and daming rock influences, marami ring funk and yeah. pop. And, and ako, I bring the theater and the folk influences, rather the, the spectacle part of the, mm-hmm. of the band and uh, some of the arrangement as well and, and the songwriting. Yeah. But, but everybody does contribute so, so much and it's, it's just such a wonderful dynamic mm-hmm. and really open-minded set of people. Yeah. And it's, it's really hard to find that, so I hope we're sticking together. And I love it because it's so distinct. And brave. I would say brave because like even watching you perform, you seem to be like so confident just expressing who you are, doing expressions and moving your body. Some, <laughs> yeah, like that. And some of your bandmates, sumasayo pa while they're yeah. playing the guitar. Napag-usapan ba yun? Ang natural lang na, ganito talaga kami. We just want to enjoy our performances. Well, at first, kasi the first few gigs that we, we had, I was like, may kulang eh. We mm. have to make something na unique na parang... Uh, we have to bring in something that's us. Yeah. And we all, whether e- extroverted or introverted, we all wanted to perform. Like, mm-hmm. like, siguro yung bagsakan yun. Bang! Yeah. We, we all like move or, mm-hmm. or do, a, do a certain, uh, do a certain jilt of, of <laughs> muscles or something. It was natural at first. Mm-hmm. And then we were like, hey, why not we choreograph this a bit? Yeah. And then some of the gigs that we have, we do TikTok dances mm-hmm. so that it's relatable. Yeah. Um, if it's OPM song, mm-hmm. we make it theatrical. And, yeah. and we have, we put a story or a narrative to it. 
nakita ko yun with your song Takatak kasi di ba <laughs> it's about being free and expressing mm-hmm. who you are and singing and dancing in terms of your music as a band is that also something that you wanna like show other people that this is what we stand for you can't put us in a box we would do what we wanna do we would express ourselves the way we wanna express ourselves well hmm. plus your songs by the way <laughs> I was listening to it sabi ko hindi pa pala tapos yung song Meron kang song na seven minutes. There's uh, uh, yes, five yes. minutes. They're pretty long. Mm-hmm. So in terms of what people would usually, in, if there's a standard, they would mm-hmm. stick with like the three minutes, the four mm-hmm. minutes, and you just want to do what you want to do. So yeah, mm-hmm. we feel like I said the, the the main mission and vision of Mijon Dot the band is uh, we encapsulate the language and energy of love. It can break stereotypes. It's like music. It's a universal language. Mm-hmm. And we believe that love is a universal language as well. We feel like with this amalgamation of beauty and our interpretation of beauty into our music, it's like it's just one big, really nice thing. Yeah. We don't know what to call it yet. Eh? But um, with Takatak, it's a heavily improv performance usually. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's really fun to play with these people na parang, okay, dito tayo magbabagsakan na. Okay, bang! Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's do let's do number two because we have like certain riffs also. Mm-hmm. It's it's so lovely to play. I'd like to say though na parang, hindi naman siya breaking the stereotype in a rebellious way because ayaw namin sa, sa mainstream. Mm-hmm. It's more of, uh, we'd like to show our love to music and and show these different types of love na yeah. hindi kailangan ganitong structure, hindi kailangan verse chorus palagi, mm-hmm. hindi kailangan three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And speaking of love, you mentioned love. Mm-hmm. You have a song about self-love and mm-hmm. accepting who you are in your journey. Magpatuloy, which kind of brought a little tear to my eye when I listened to it. Saan ang galing yung linyang, hindi mo ito kasalanan? Oh my goodness, uh, it's a long story, but I'd say the first two lines, ang hirap mo raw mahalin, ngunit di mo naman kasalanan, is for the Philippines. It's, oh. I wrote it as like a Filipino song. Wow. Like like for the Philippines, okay. for our country, mm-hmm. na parang, ay, because I was worried about all these things in the Philippines, and mm-hmm. I was like, hirap naman mahalin, but like, hindi niya din naman kasalanan. It's, uh, ano, but then, Uh, after after the chorus, mm-hmm. uh, I was like, "Oh my, this can be like an anthemic song yeah. for people." And and the the band was like, "Oh, we we should make this a more general song, like mm. not necessarily vague, but something yeah. that's relatable to the audience. It's not just a personification of the Philippines, mm-hmm. diba? It can be like you. It can be your loved one. It can yeah. be anybody. So, parang it was a weirdly smart way to." Mm. <laughs> To uh, put this these things together and parang yun nga, naging self-love and acceptance yeah. siya. Pero ang galing now that you mentioned where it actually came from, parang it adds another layer to how meaningful and deep the song is. So for people who may still be struggling when it comes to finding their worth and accepting themselves, what would be your main message to them? Well, hmm... <laughs> Maybe have... niya sa kanta, pero in case you want to elaborate on it. Yes, yeah, well, well it. some of it, you know, magpatuloy lang, humayot, ihayag ang pagmamahal. Uh, but a lot of it also, isa sa mga mottos ng band is versatility and compassion. We have this quote, keep creating and keep the drive and passion alive. Mm. Because I think that's what people need nowadays with the new normal yeah. and everything going on with with the world uh, no matter how cruel it gets we have art we have the things that we created for mm-hmm. and the things that the universe what god or whatever you believe in uh guides us to we do it with versatility uh, because it's what we like to do and we like doing different things in what we like to do and in compassion uh, we yeah. understand that this is hard but we still do it with love mm-hmm. yeah. nice love it and that really translates in your music so sa mga hindi pa encounter ang music ng Mijon dot if there's one word or maybe a description that you would use to describe your sound what would it be hmm <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good description. I got that. <laughs> yes. Uh, or if it's an actual word, uh, pagmamahal. Pagmamahal. 
but with a hat. Pagmamahal! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mijon. It was a pleasure Thank catching you. up with you. And is there anything that you want to promote as well as your socials? Please share that in. Well, you may follow us in, in our social media pages. We have different social media pages. That is M-I-J-O-N dot. Mijon dot. That's our band name. And we will be releasing a lot of music and a lot of more content soon. So stay tuned to our social media pages. Thank you so much, Mijon. And before you go, we have some gifts for you <gasps> from our friends at Floor Mar. You get makeup and nail polish. We have headphones from H Audio. And the Tap to Connect card um, where you don't have to print business cards anymore. Just tap it on the phone and all your details are going to be going to the phone that you tap your card on. <laughs> yeah, this is yours. Thank, thank you so you. much, Mijan. And thanks everybody for joining us on the Advocally Podcast. We would like to thank Happy Studios, DOH, Cafe Lupe, Casa Alegria, Hive Audio International, The Spark Series, Floormar, Tap to Connect, and H-Audio. We'll see you again next time. Thanks, Mijan. Thank you. Thank you.